Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do something a little different and today I'm going to be doing a dupe video. I found this eyeshadow palette in my local beauty supply store and I wanted to give it a try. I've used it once on a client so I wanted to try it out again with you guys on camera. And this is the 23 Perfect 23 Matte Colors. Um, I think that's how it's read and it's by Nika K New York. kind of reminds me of the uh, Modern Renaissance um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So I really wanted to give it a try. And the kicker is it's only $4.99. This palette jumped out at me because of all these neutral tones. So we have a lot of these neutral brown shades that's really good for the crease and I'm um, smoking out the eye. Then they also have like this interesting section here where it's kind of like a sunset, which you see in a lot of palettes. But over here in the corner, you have like your creams and your whites and then a beige. And then at the very bottom, you have like this more cool tone row with the grays, like the grayish blue, the taupish gray. And then this, I believe, is supposed to be a black. This black is not as black as I've seen blacks, but... Um, I'm going to give it all a try. I'm going to try to use as many colors as possible and try this palette out for you guys. Like I said, it's only $4.99. And if it is a success, I definitely think that you all should go out and grab one. But the jury is still out until the end of this video. I already have my face makeup on. I have uh, foundation, contour, um, concealer, and my brows. So I just wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way so we can jump right into the video. So I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to go into, let's see, I'm going to go into this color. They don't have any, oh, I just realized something. So. On the back of on the back of this eyeshadow palette, it shows you which ones are eyeshadows and which ones are blush. So all of these are supposed supposed to be eyeshadows except this row right here, which is supposed to be blush. That's interesting. But do we know it? So like I said, I'm gonna go into this color here and lay down my crease color. And I'm just take looking down in my mirror. Now I did go in with a light hand. It is a little payoff, but it looks like you're gonna have to really build these colors, which doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing because if you're not used to eyeshadows and if you have not worked with eyeshadows um, as much, this may, this may be a plus side because then it allows you to build it up without putting too much on your brush. Do you see the difference? I definitely see the difference. It doesn't seem to be skipping, which is also a good thing. The eyeshadow is applying evenly. But it's really also hard to tell when you have like those, when you're doing your crease color because it is closer to your skin tone. Now, I think I want to go in with a darker brown. No, you know what? I think I'm going to go into this red here. And I'm just going to go in with a more tapered fluffy brush. It's not much fallout as well, so. Oh, wow. Which I did swirl my brush around in the palette, so. Okay. So what do you guys think so far? Let's see. Now I'm thinking I want to go into... I'm thinking I want to go into this red, what's this orange? It's like a reddish orange shade. And I'm just going to bring that in my lower crease, lower, um, upper lid. Do 
is pretty, but it doesn't seem like it's blending out. Let's see. I guess I'll be doing a halo eye. Picking up quite a bit on my brush and I'm not noticing any fallout. What you guys think? I really do think that this eyeshadow has a good bit of payoff. It's not too bad. These brighter shades have a little bit more fallout. They're blending nicely. Yes, that is not too bad. So now I think I'm going to go in with the darkest shade it looks like. Not the black. I'm going to go in with this kind of plumish brown shade. And I'm just going to place that in the outer and inner corner just to deepen up that um, halo eye. That is, wow. I am loving this eye look. I have, I have never done a, a halo eye. And so far so good. And it's, these colors are really, this palette is really impressing me. I do want to try the black um, only because I know that the black is pretty important important color in a palette for most so I am going to go in and deepen up this purple with a little bit of that black Wow mm. okay I think that is like really nice that is really good for a $4.99 eyeshadow palette. Like, that's really good. So the true test is this black. I'm going to go in with that same smudger brush. And I'm just going to take some of the black. Okay. I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, let's see if you can build it up. It's not the blackest of black, and I don't, it builds up a little bit. Yeah, it builds up a little bit. It's not too bad. But if you really wanted something where like that black is just like the black is a black, this isn't your go-to. But considering, considering if you don't really play with eyeshadows that much or you're kind of new to eyeshadows, um, the black uh, is not that bad. Only because black is one of the more difficult eyeshadows to work with. Only because it can take your look from nice to muddy. So I think working with a weaker black may not be such a bad thing. And it's actually laying down a good bit of pigment. I personally don't use a lot of black in my videos because it is a little daunting. And it can become harsh. So you have to be very careful with the black. But it blends out nicely. And it blends in with the purple so it doesn't look too... It doesn't look like I placed black over and it's just covered up that purple. It's kind of blended into that purple and deepened it up. So the next color I want to try is one of these blush colors. 
I personally would not use them for blush only because the, the pan is so small and they're a little bit too pink for me. And like I said, the pan is so small, you'll probably that placement on your cheek will kind of just be like right on your cheek, like just a circle in your cheek. So I probably wouldn't I wouldn't use that for blush. Um, but I think I want to go in and try this pink shade um, for right in the center of my eyelid for the halo look. So I'm gonna take this purple shade. I just really want to try it. It's really tempting me. So I'm going to take purple, this pink shade, and I'm going to place that on the center of my eyelid. Oh, wow. Okay, so I dipped in there a couple of times. Let me actually use the other side of the brush. Here's the her, the pink on one side and then on the other side. So I'm going to dip in it once just so you can um, kind of get a feel of how much will pick up on your brush just with one um, dip. Not wipe or swipe, just one tap or dip onto the pan. So that's just one dip and that's not too bad. Honestly, that's not bad at all. That's about five dips. That's about like, that's one dip. So that's not too bad. So I'm just going to start off with that one, that side that I just placed it in, in the pan once. Okay. It's not too bad. see that that is really pretty and the really good thing about this eyeshadow is that it, you can build it up Let's see if any fallouts on my face no fallout the beauty supply store brands have stepped up their game so i'm just going to go back in with that purple shade and just kind of blend in that that halo just so it becomes one i'm really tempted to try this yellowish orange shade right here i'm just going to take and place that in my crease these colors really blend well with one another it doesn't just sit on top of one another. It doesn't become muddy. They actually blend into one another. And even when you pick up, cause I'm kind of at this point swirling my brush in the, um, in the pans. And even when you do that, so I'm gonna show you. So I'm literally just taking and swirling my brush in that pan. And even when you do that, obviously knock off the excess because it's picked up quite a bit. It's still not, it's still blending nicely. Um, look at that blend. Like, look at that. That is so pretty. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I've already put on my lashes. The the struggle was real when I was putting on these lashes like they're barely on I can just be quite frank with you I mean yeah I must say like this eyeshadow palette is really it's really good it's really good for $4.99 you can see just about every shade that I put on there from that orange to that really hot pink blush, to that darker purple shade, and even the black. Um, hands down, I really do like this eyeshadow palette. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is add some to my bottom lashes, cause they, um, my bottom lash line, cause it looks a little naked.
Okay. I really like that. Honestly, I think this eyeshadow palette is well worth the buy. For me to create a look like this for a four with a four ninety nine, four dollar and ninety nine cent palette, like you can't beat that. Like this is a really good palette. I highly recommend going out and purchasing this palette. Unfortunately, I did not use these lighter shades. I never really use these type of lighter shades anyway. Um, not even on my brow bone. So. Um, Let's see how they swatch. So, you know what? They can be built up. Um, they're a little chalky. And they kind of blend away. Aside from these three shades here, this palette is worth the buy. Like I said, it's a really good beginner's makeup palette. Especially if you are not used to working with a really pigmented palette um this this is the way to go you pick up just a little um just enough to blend it out and just you can build it up so that is a plus with this palette they are buildable everyone should go out and purchase this palette it's only five dollars like you can't go wrong with that i mean and even just try it out for yourself and see if if it's worth my hype i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I'm trying to bring more content to my channel and upload on a regular basis. Um, so please subscribe. I have more videos to come. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.